Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to this one video. In this one video, I'm going to talk about two insanely effective and cool hmm, ways to start designing your online course. Now, we have spoken a lot about online courses and how to create stuff. And yesterday, this was something that I was having conversation with one of the members that I was coaching. And uh, before even he wants to start his journey, he wants to be. He wants to start his journey back again. So I was like, "Take it. Let let us go in this different direction." Because we have all we we in this channel we have seen a lot of ways to build courses and a lot of methods and approaches like that. But yesterday when I was coaching, I found a different way as well. <clears throat> Not a different way, but then two points which is going to be insane, effective and cool. As like E N C, not C A N E, effective and cool. That brings us to the welcome. Thank you so much for joining me this one video. This one video we are going to talk about insanely effective and cool. It's just plant design. Now, it's, it's if you have already designed your course, this video is not for you. Probably this video is for you if you are designing it or revamping it for the second time, third time, fourth time, or hundred time, whatever that is. It's going to be effective for you and cool for you. Now, what are these two methods for the start giving two stuff? Right, come on, what was it? Why do you have to cough? Why do you have to keep talking so much? Anyway, so the first and foremost method is something that I've learned from great singer, one of my coaches, and he happens to become one of the greatest coaches that got the coaches out of me. the course out of me and he says like you need to have when you're building a course when you're building a community you need to be having something called a tangible result for example if you are into stress resilient industry stress resilient you you are helping people come out of stress is that tangible no that's intangible but how can you link that to a tangible result what can be the tangible result Point number one: You can have an increased income. If you're working. You can have better relationships if you are in a relationship. You can get better results when it comes to when you can get better results. Say, for example, you are stress resilient stress resilient coach. For example, for for the students who are in tenth grade because they are going to give the board exam for the first time. They are already stressed out. The monster they have been people have been feeding them all the way from when they were in first grade. Like now they are going to face board exam in tenth grade. Now they have, they subconsciously they are so stressed out that they don't even they cannot stay calm because they have been conditioned for like last ten years. Like board exam, board exam, board exam, board exam, board exam. But people won't even realize what monster they have been creating and putting them, feeding them into these small little kids. But then when you go, I remember when I was writing twelfth grade board exam CBSC, I knew what I was writing. I actually remember the moment when I was writing that sum. I was solving that sum. I knew that sum. This was my hand. You're shaking like this. I like it, dude. First of all, you know that answer, but why is it shaking? The monster that was already been created. So, how can you? What can be the tangible results you can provide to people? So, for example, in the industry like make money, lose weight, make money, lose weight, get fit. And in this part of the world, what happens is you always have tangible results to it. That's easier for you when you are into something called calligraphy. For example, there is not much tangible result to it, but you can bring in hook. How can you bring in hook? Okay, you are going to get a great job, which is going to be which is going to pay you a certain number, certain amount X Y Z. You can build a business that is going to make a certain amount, certain X Y Z amount of revenue or income, or whatever that is. When when you go into this way, you can have a hook, and that hook has to do with directly related to second point. Now, who is the course for? When you go back to the first example, you you are helping people come out of stress because they're stressed out because of board exams. Okay. Now, if you are not targeting, for example, if you are not targeting the the students from tenth grade, it's like I am going to this course is for the whole world today because it's going to bring people out of stress. Great! It's for whole world. What I'm teaching is for whole world because we saw the potential of making money online. We saw the potential of making money through online courses. Okay, now everyone can. But do you think it's really possible? Yes. But then is it practical? Oh yes, practical. But then if you think about it, you cannot go and sell to the whole world. People are not going to resonate with you. You need to pick a certain category. Going back to the first example, <clears throat> if you want to help people, if you want to help students come out of stress and write. Board exams peacefully and calm. You have already, you have already specifically said, okay, that is just for tenth grade, not eleventh grade, 
not ninth grade. They're not writing board exams. I'm just going to talk to people who are writing board exams for the first time, not even twelfth grade. If you are helping people come out of stress again, who are say for the age, from the age say twenty five to thirty, and now this category generally goes to work. When this category generally goes to work, they are freshes, and they have got certain amount of stress. Now, <clears throat> you are the stress coach. I am no expert in this. I am just giving an idea. This stress is entirely different because the mindset is entirely different from the people who are in twenty to twenty five, because you know they have they have freshly graduated and went into post graduation or maybe started working. Mindset is different. This mindset is very different. Now they are kind of experienced in the the, the industry they are working. So they can if you create courses for this category. It will be very different than the tactical part. The methods are going to be same, but then the approaches are going to be different. You are not going to talk to tenth grade exam, tenth who is writing tenth exam, in, in in the same way that someone is writing, someone is into employment. Two different mindsets, two different stories, two different experiences, two different examples you should derive in. Now moving on to, for example, if also we have like okay, someone who is into forty to forty five years, and that's not a she, that's a man. You are targeting just folks, men gender, who are who 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 who, who are employers, for example, who just upgraded as a promotion when they're working, and they've got team under them, and they never experienced the leadership leadership manner. They are already stressed out. The few examples that you can work on. So, point number one: what can be the tangible result if they if that employer is going on it's like. Stressed out and is on the stage. Okay, you are going to help them now on the mindset level of it. Okay, mindset level is not tangible; it's intangible. What can be the tangible part of it? Okay, increased income, increasing in respect. You can you can have great health, for example. If you if you kind of lower your stress, what are the benefits on the tangible part? Of it? So, point number one is tangible. Level. Point number two is for whom are you creating? So these are both are interconnected to each other. If you can find out. If you can find out the first one, the tangible results, then, then, if you can figure out this one part of it, what you are, what you are going to do next is, when the moment you figure out these two things, not just one, tangible results and for whom, when these two things are figured out completely, you'll be able to craft that thirty days of a challenge. You'll be able to craft that main course, the three day course, then the webinars, then the funnels, then the advertisements, and the free content overall, and your social media. Genius hack, right? So do you think this is effective and cool? Oh yeah, I think this is effective and cool because it's not just effective and cool; it's insanely effective and cool. Before even starting or uh, before even working on it, if you can figure these two things out, that's your homework. Because you've watched it all the way till eight minutes, so this is your homework. Put that in the comment section. What are the tangible results? One, what for who is your category? Who is your Audience, who who are your going? Who are your who are not your? Who are going to be your community members tomorrow? So put that in the comment section. I'm going to see in another exciting video that I'm going to record. Three things your students need to know from you. That's an issue I'm recording because three things that are extremely important when you want to reach out to people. Not even reach out to people. The moment someone wants to learn from you, interact with you, these three things are extremely important for them to know from your end. So that's going to be recorded next. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much. I'm going to see you in the day. May peace and blessings be upon you and your loved ones. Thanks so much. Peace out.